Breast cancer put a Georgia couple's dream of starting a family on hold. But Catherine and Josh Green still hope to one day become parents. And there is a good chance that they will, and it's all thanks to a fertility treatment that they underwent before Catherine began her cancer treatment. The Fox Medical Team's Beth Galvin has that story. It's taken time and hard work, but Catherine and Josh Green's century-old Barnesville house now feels much more like home. It was pretty much therapy for me. Uh, my mom had previously, or just passed away, and when we walked in, it was pretty much the only place we felt at peace. And when they're not cooking together, the Greens love to travel and visit national parks. They're now on their 47th state. Working in engineering and communications, they're also big planners. And having children has always been part of the plan. Probably our first date, we both looked at each other and said, you want to have kids? Yeah, I want to have kids. So we were in our 30s when we got married. And so in our mindset, we said, OK, at our two year wedding anniversary, let's go ahead and start trying for a family. But in 2021, plans suddenly changed when Catherine, who was 31, was diagnosed with breast cancer. With any cancer treatment, there, there comes a risk of um, having compromised fertility. Dr. Rushi Garg, National Program Director of Gynecologic Oncology at City of Hope, Atlanta, Phoenix, and Chicago, encourages newly diagnosed patients like Catherine who hope to have children one day to tell their doctors that they want to do whatever they can to preserve their fertility before they begin treatment. It depends on the cancer type. It depends on the stage of the cancer and how aggressive it is. So it's it's definitely a discussion. So at Catherine's first appointment with her City of Hope oncologist. And as soon as he walked in the room, he had not even taken a seat yet. And I said, we want to have kids. That was mid-June of 2021. Catherine's doctor agreed to pause the start of her chemotherapy for two and a half months, but told them. Very first of September, we're starting treatment. And so you have until then to figure out what you need to do to preserve your fertility. And it was a race against the clock. Catherine's hormone-based cancer made the egg retrieval process more complicated, but the fertility center was able to retrieve and fertilize enough eggs to create five healthy DNA-tested embryos. I had my port placed um, probably the 10th or 11th of August, and we went in for an egg retrieval on the 21st, and I started chemo on the 28th. After chemotherapy, a lumpectomy, and radiation, Catherine, who's now 33, is on hormone therapy. I'll be on hormone therapy through my 37th birthday, and then we'll come off and hopefully do a egg implant whenever I'm cleared. Until then, the Greens are hopeful they will one day have the family they dream of. One of the big things that Catherine and I have, have said to each other going into this is that we're going to stay positive. Life is full of struggles and curveballs. It's what you make of what you get. Beth Galvin for the Fox Medical Team.